Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can turn the lights off if you want. I'm going to go through about 10 items that Jamie gave me. Uh, at the end, if you have questions and you want to hear about something specific, let me know. So basically, when you log into Arbiter, this would be your, your home page. It's very important to make sure there is a check mark here where it says ready to be assigned. If that's not checked, you will not get any games. So that might be a good thing, might be a bad thing, I don't know. But if you're going away on a vacation and you want to go through blocks, that's one way to do it. Profile. Uh, profile is where you would put your uh, information, your name, first name. You want to check this, make sure it's all set up properly. Um, let me just scroll down here. You got your phone numbers. You can make them public or not. Ideally, you would want a number your partner can reach you on the way to a game site or at a game. So I usually tell people just make their cellular phone the public number and then that way anybody on your board will have that number and then the rest don't need to be public so that would be just by unclicking that and check your address make sure it's correct because if you have the wrong address or postal code it will not uh, show you available on Arbiter again so uh, if I'm in Toronto I'm not going to get any games in Bay of Quinte because it's more than 100 kilometers away so that's important and then your picture as you can see, we got Jamie put up his picture already. So we go over here to the left hand side. It says account, phone numbers, custom fields, and picture. Click on picture. I'm assuming most of you may have that empty, so there should be no picture. So for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to get rid of the picture. And then you come to this screen here. It says add an image to your user account. You would want to browse. And then that takes you to your, you know, your, uh, your files on your computer. In this case, I already saved Jamie's picture to the desktop. And then I would scroll down. Usually, it should be a JPEG picture. You select it, open, you hit upload, and then it takes a while. And there you go. So that's your profile. Again, most important here is Jamie wants everybody's picture in Toronto. We want everybody's picture up there. So it should be a headshot. That way, if an assigner is looking to assign you, they know, uh, you know, know what you look like. Yeah, but you already know that your picture is up, so you have not a duty to get them up on there. All right, so that's quite simple. Just go to your account, hit picture, and follow the screens from there. So the next thing, let's go here to schedule. Uh, this is where you'd find your games. In this case, I've given Jamie a uh, a mock game. And it says right here, the group name, the referee, he's the referee for the game, under position, the date, and the sport level. In Toronto, we use different sports levels. I'm not sure what it is in Bay of Quinte, but we can go over that. And then you would go to accept if you want it, or decline if you don't. Now, what happens here is once you open this up, Arbiter will notify the assigner that you've seen your game. So... Uh, I believe you have two days or 48 hours to accept this game. Two days, so you can check out what you need to do, and then if you're ready to go, press accept. If you don't do anything, after two days, this game disappears, and in Arbiter, it's it's uh, it's saved as a timeout game. So it means you didn't do anything, and perhaps you got a better game in Durham, and you didn't want to do anything with this one, so you left it alone. So I recommend you either accept or decline. So in this case, we're going to accept. So once you accept the game, you've got to go down. You press accept in the box here, and then you go to submit. And then it comes back, and you can see it's there. It's on your calendar. And you're also going to have the ability to turn back this assignment. So a turn back uh, usually is there for about two days before the game starts, ideally, because you know you can't be turning back the day before. It'll, Assigner might not get around to it. So if you're going to turn back your assignment, something came up, you hit you hit turn back, and then it comes up this comment box. So of course in this comment box, you're going to say, my spouse needed me, sorry, I got to go. So you put that in. If you leave it blank, it goes back blank as well. And then you hit turn back. It says it wants us something here, okay. I guess you made a required aging. Yeah, I did. Okay. Da, da, da. Turn back. So it's uh, taking a while. Saving. And there it's gone. 
So now Arbiter saves that in your account as a turn back. And then Jamie can run a report or your assigner or whoever it is can run, run a report at the end of the month and the two months and see how many declines or turn backs you had. Now on this screen as well, I'm not sure what you're going to see when you open it up. But you have options down here by going through the filter. Hit the down arrow. You can go to the past, last week, last month, last seven days, and so on. And showing the future. Uh, your group, that would be if you're in multiple groups. So Durham uses uh, Arbiter. Toronto uses it as well. And does York Region. I believe the OUA uses it. So you can, if you're using the same email address, you'll have them all linked. And you can show everything or you can show whatever you wish to show. So in this case, we just look at Quinty, via Quinty, you hit apply, and this would just show here to tonight's meeting. Now on, on this, uh, on the far right side where it says include, you hit the down arrow, you have all, you have games, and you have events. Technically, you'd always want it on all, so that way you know if there's a meeting coming up or not. Some of you may go back and perhaps you have it on games. So you hit apply and you don't see anything. So you don't know that there was a meeting tonight because Arbiter is not showing it to you. So I suggest you always have it on all. That way you see everything. And then on the side here, you have your reports. There is a way to export this to your Outlook if you use Outlook. Don't ask me how because I don't really do it. Uh, display you can do it by the list. Some of you may have it on view by day. That's how it looks like. View by, by week and view by month. So it depends what you what you prefer. I prefer list view because it, it goes uh, in order. So if you had games coming up, it would show the next game that's coming up and, and so forth. So let's go to blocks. Again, with blocks, uh, for the sake of this uh, demonstration, we're just going to we're going to click off Tableau because Jamie's part of Tableau, and we're just going to see Quinty. So this is the Bay of Quinty blocks that Jamie set up. So I'm going to go to October. Did you do anything in October? No. So some, some. So ideally, if you want to set up a block, let's say you know every Thursday night is Bridge Night and you don't want to work Thursday night, you have two options. You can go down here to Action, click on Block All Day, go to Thursday, October 1st, boom. If you want to do it for a greater range of time, you go to Date Range, you pick your date. Let's say we go Thursday, and we're going to go to February 4th, the Thursday. And then you're going to click on the uh, days here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Click on Thursday, hit apply. And there you go. All the Thursdays are now blocked. All right, that's the uh, quick and easy way to do it if you're doing a bigger range. So if you're going on holidays, you can pick your two weeks and do that. Uh, for me to clear this now, I'm going to hit clear blocks. And then I'm going to go back here and hit apply. And all the blocks are gone. So it really depends on what you want to do. You can have multiple blocks on a day. So that would be done by block part day. Once you hit that, the time range opens up. So you can go 8 a.m. to, let's say, I don't know, I think Albert College gets out at 1.30. So we're going to block the morning. And then I know that evening i got to do something else. So I'm going to come down here. Scroll down, let's say 6 p.m., let's say 6.15, and then I'm going to go 6.15, sorry, it's just 6.15 6, to 10, and then I'm going to hit the same day. So now I have two blocks. If I go down with my arrow here, I can see at the bottom there's a summary, game blocks, 8 a.m. to 1.30, 6.15 to 10. Now, right now as it sits, these blocks aren't firm. So what that means is if your assigner wants to override them, they can. But if you go to the far right, you see the word firm. You click on those boxes. You should be able to click on those boxes, Mr. McKay. And then that means he can't override, or the assigner cannot override your block. You're blocked out. 
Yeah. Yes. A fire pit here that that's a so block all no, I believe you gotta make them firm. So let me see. See here, you gotta go as to firm. Uh, for some reason this is maybe you set it up so I have to look at it. But you should be able to click on this to make it firm and then that way if you have a question just uh, belt it out because I can't really see you. If if your block I would never override it unless I spoke to you personally. That would be the only way that I would ever do that. Yes. If you go down here, you can exit. So let's go. Where did I do this? Thursday here? So ideally, like I'm assuming you're asking me, it would be the days that have multiples or the days. No, you just go to, I would go, let's say, Friday the second here. Yeah. I now know I'm available. I go down to the bottom. Would you have all the other day? If you hit X, yeah. and there you go, it's gone. Okay. So, yeah, to clear them, let me just put this back on it. Uh, yeah. just a second. Yes? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so multiple group users. You see here where it says groups? In order to do all groups, you have to have them both clicked. So they're both checked. Now anytime I do a block, it's going to go to both groups. If I want to do one group and not the other, then I have to uncheck one. So for instance, we were looking at Bay of Quinty. Here's what Jeannie has. For Tavo, Jeannie has it all blocked. So we'll have to talk to him about his availability there. <laughs> Weekends. But so, but Josie, if he goes into our site, all he sees is when you have the day appointment, right? He doesn't see both. Okay, so he would see only what is being shared with him. So, for instance, now we're getting a little bit high end here, but if we go to profile, you go to sharing. So, profile sharing. Okay, right now, Jamie's not sharing anything. So for him to share, you have the option of sharing your group, your level, your site, and your time. And then you would have to, again, you're, you're doing check marks on all these, check marks on these two, and then with the assigner. So if Jamie wanted it, he could uh, share it with only the Toronto sign, or he could share it only with the Bay of Quinty. So to share it and show it, you need to do this. Uh, otherwise, the only thing your assigner here will see if you're with someone else is that you're not available. It'll just show you block. So it doesn't. It just shows you're not available according to your block. Yes, the assigner gets that automatically. So again, if you're in Durham, you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. Yes. Yes, if you're using the same email address, your profile cascades to all your accounts, as long as it's the same address, email address. All right, um, what else did you have here? Turnbacks and declines, I went through. What else do you need to do? I already did that. That's basically your schedule. I already got rid of it. No, no, that's just for our administrative use. You don't have to worry about that. That's what you got. You got nothing there. Um, walks are the big ones, so that way you can do that. What's accepted agency your partner? But you're not able to, you can't view your partner before accepting the agency. You understand that, right? So you can't say, I don't want to work with this person today, so I'm not accepting that game. You won't see that until you accept it. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you where you see that. Uh, Jane, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to sign you a game. He was going to sign you a mock game and they'll go through it. Through the Bay of Quinty yeah. signing. There we go. 
to use everything. That's just all the fellows getting their own there. Nobody's ranked. No. All right. That's Andy's job. Sorry guys, uh, I'm just gonna get this. Yeah. I got you, I got you now. Let's see if it works. Okay, uh, sorry guys, here's Jamie's game, Jamie's game here is up again, so when you go to your schedule, you see your game, I'm gonna, got the table meetings here too, but, anyway, here's the game, table, now Jamie, you were saying they can't see the referee? They can't see the partner until they touch the game. Alright. So here's your game. What was the question around the game? Jamie, they, they, they can't see their partner unless, I don't know. Unless they accept it. Oh, here it is. You, you would see this. You would have the person official's name. They always say notified notify me that they haven't accepted it. I haven't accepted it. She knows I haven't So also with your game, if you go to your site, you click on this site, and this will give you the address of the location. So that's an extra. Yes, when you. No, you got an email. But everyone should check Arbor on a daily basis. Check it once a day. I'm serious. You should be checking it once a day. You should have been playing it. But you will get an email. You also get an email three days in advance of your game as a reminder you're not going to do it. Okay, well. So basically, okay, yeah, you click on the game number on the left, click on that, that shows you your partner, their cell number, shows the time, the date, email them if you want to email them. No, no, you, 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 Maybe you did. It was set up when I had armor before. I couldn't tell my partner was before. Oh, this is a Toronto game, so that's probably why you can see it. Yeah, it's not our board. It's not your board. I couldn't assign you your game there. I don't know if you guys have ranked all your. Have you ranked all your officials? So no one shows up. If you're not ranked, so if you're not getting any games, your best to speak to your assigner and say I'm not getting anything. Just so you know. And then that assigner should check the rankings, make sure you've been ranked. Because if you're not ranked, it's like you're not there. Um, anyone have any questions? Because basically you got your main, your schedule.
No, it doesn't really matter. Just it's just in the area there's two screens, a left and a right. And if you're only on the left, you gotta be moved to the right. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. So there you go. And then uh, for your events, I'm assuming you're all mandatory. Your meetings are mandatory, so you won't be accepting them. You'll basically just see them on your schedule. So, for instance, in Toronto, you can see on Jamie's schedule, he's got his two uh, two fall meetings. He's got to attend. Yeah, that was a question I had. If someone accepts the meeting, yeah, there was no accept button. Yeah, accepted. Yeah. So basically, when you would have gone in, you would have just saw this this meeting here, Bay of Quinty, and again, it's mandatory. So as soon as it's published, you don't need to accept it now. You know, you may have a college meeting that some will be mandatory and some won't. So that would be one you may want to accept or not. But most of the case meetings are all uh, all mandatory. So again, you got your main screen, your schedule, your blocks, your lists. Uh, lists, this is all you have here. You have your assigners, your contacts. I'm not sure no one's been added here. So you, these are stuff... These are sections that can be listed. All your schools are here. If you're looking for a school, these are already uploaded. So basically, Arbiter shows you whatever's been uploaded. And then Teams. Are you guys using Teams? Yeah, you got all your college teams. Forms uh, is a mechanism in Arbiter for you to upload documents that you guys could see. So your handbook, if you have a handbook or if there's a policy, I could show Doomy later how to do that. And it just means if you need, you know, what's the policy around ejecting somebody, boom, it's there. And then you can download it. Those, are those, those forms particular to everyone's site, or is that a generic version? It's particular to your board, so whatever you want there. So I could, I have mine open here, so I could just show you in Toronto what we have. Uh, So we go to here, here's the, where is it? Me. Lists, go to my lists. Then I'll go to forms. And here we have an incident form, rules for a certain league, our handbook and evaluation form. So this has been created over the last, I think we've been doing this for eight years. So it's just a simple way to get information to everybody. And if you don't have a website, like I don't know how good the Bay of Quinty website is, but at least this is all uh, its all protected, right? You don't have to worry about somebody else getting into it, because unless you have a password, you're not going to get it. Let's see what else. And then connected. Uh, I'm just going to show you connected. This is basically, we, ad we adopted this this year. Cost was 385 for official. And this allows you to also get uh, an alert text that you have a game. We've uh, issued some issues with the email section of Arbor, so we thought if we add this, then it's another bonus. And then your profile, again, like I mentioned, just make sure your address is correct, especially the postal code, because uh, if it's not, then Arbor is not going to find you when they try to assign you a game. That's it. Yes. Uh, again, anytime there's a change, you'll get an email saying there's a change. If it's a game time or somebody's been on a sign, you get someone else. You need to go back in and just verify that because let's say your game time was at 6 and now it's been changed to 7. So we still need to know that you're good with that. So you would get an email, in this case, on that. You'll also get an email if your partner changes. Again, that's up to the assigner as well to send those email not notifications. They get a screen uh, that gives them that ability to send out emails to everybody if, needed, if need be. Uh, email, game emails, you get, like Jamie was saying, as soon as he assigns you a game, you'll get an email saying you have it. From that time of the email, from the time you open Arbiter to see it, so if I get the email at 9 o'clock today, but I don't go in Arbiter until tomorrow, 
I will get 48 hours from that time that I see it to accept it. Um, you'll get event emails as well anytime, like you said, you've got a new event. In this case, it's already accepted for you, so you just got to go in and, and check it. And that's it. So you're going to be email going to three days every day with the same thing with the event. Don't be offering that for me to get a site to you. Well, I was planning on doing it very similar to other previous years. Like, I'll put them out Thursday, you'll have one until Saturday to accept, and it could be Monday. Uh, it'll be a two week block. Yes, I do, but you haven't given me the ability to put them in. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'll work at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll do we'll something like that. No, we can do that, Joe. That's not a problem. Yeah. You can even put them off schedule in the last year. Right? Everyone gets the same. It's going to be different with this. One gets more of the same. It's just 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 more of the same. Well, I just think you want to accept it and go, you know, and your system's okay. Well, you're just available. You're not available. And also, the default is even if you request for a three days from now, it's not available. It's not going to be available. Anyway, people will ask. You only find the sign is when you put it. Right. Even when it's changed, it's going to be available. Even when it's changed, it's going to be available. 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 The game itself, if you didn't go in and look at it, it is going to be taken out. It, you won't get an opportunity after the two day period or three day period, whatever it is you decide. You will not get an opportunity after that. It will be removed and I'll have to put somebody else in there. It times out.